What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning into this video. Got a good one today. Um, this video is sponsored by Whiteline. Um, thanks to those guys over there. They're actually sponsoring um, some parts, some merch, um, some cool stuff for 2020 on the VY Turbo LS1, which is sneak peek. Oh, there it is. Uh, can't show you guys too much of that at the moment because it's stripped down for um, some work that's going to be in uh, upcoming videos. A lot of cool stuff coming. Um, what I'm going to do is sort of like a unboxing video. What the guys sent me, uh, what the guys from Whiteline sent me. Um, then the next video will be fitting it up. So I'll try and do this in one take because I'm recording on my phone. Hopefully it doesn't look too potato. But I'll I'll set my phone up and uh, we'll unbox some of this good stuff. up a little bit what do we look like there all right that's not terrible all righty let's see what we got so come in the box box isn't exciting uh, I was excited as you can see I tore the shit out of the box to get into it <laughs> pretty stoked um, other than the support of um, my workshop and um, myself uh, my wife included, she's part of my bank account. So other than that, I really haven't had a sponsor of the vehicle before. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm super happy that White Lines jumped on board and they're, um, they're stoked and uh, happy to send me some stuff. So let's get into it. We have uh, some gel badges. So White Line badges, but they're like a raised gel badge. That's cool. Um, I'd probably put that on like my center console or something, somewhere near the shifter. Um, we've got a little, what have we got in there? It looks like a lanyard and some pens. Yep, white line uh, lanyard, that's really cool. My um, Mighty Car Mods one is a little bit shit, so it'd be good to retire that one, get that one in there. White line pen, can never have too many pens. I, um, I've actually lost my pen. I normally have a, a Continental pen because I work for a, a tire shop. We get uh, reps come in every now and then drop some stuff off. The Continental pens are really nice. So but, uh, I'll be replacing that one with a white line pen. All right, let's move on, tuck that away. Gloves, always handy. Um, suspension can be pretty dirty, control arms and stuff can be covered in dust and dirt and got some oil leaks, um, that just uh, enhances that problem, so, oh, this is a really nice set, oh wow, they're like, um, like rubber dotted, so the grip on those is crazy, that's really cool, that's really nice, hopefully, um, that fits my stupid fat hand. It should, looks good. They look really cool, I like those. Activate more grip, heck yeah. Next up, t-shirts, and they nailed the size, extra, extra large, for that uh, that fat boy look. 2020 white line. On the back side, they have a couple of famous uh, race, race tracks, I think. What have we got? North America, you got Circuit of Americas, Daytona, Laguna Seca. Laguna Seca sounds familiar. Uh, Sebring, Watkins Glen, Watkins Glen, you got Australia, you got a few. You got Sydney Motorsport Park, Mount Panorama, Wakefield Park. Yeah, so on and so forth. That's a really cool shirt. Hopefully that's in frame. So, it's awesome. I think the jumper is very similar same designs just in a nice hoodie grab through pockets so when you're at car meets you can just stick your arms through and keep warm in the winter coming really nice hat one size fits all which is awesome that's pretty cool 
looks nice and breathable. I don't know if you can see it, but it's it's kind of see-through. So let your head breathe. Uh, sticker packs kind of self-explanatory. It's a bunch of banners, door uh, stickers, um, bonnet bumpers, wherever you're going to put them. There's actually a diagram of a 2015 WRX there, but I guess that's a that's might be where they prefer you to put them. Let's, uh, let's move on, get in the thick of the parts. That's all the merch and stuff they sent. Alright, if I can find a blade. Maybe. Yep. Oh. <laughs> I got the knife out, flicked it and went, ah, oh, no blade. because we have a hugely unnecessary set of shears. Let's get that. All right. Oh, these are blunt as. Someone's been cutting stuff they shouldn't be. Oh, that's terrible. All right. Here we go, full caveman, 200 pound gorilla. Big obvious one out the road. This is the rear sway bar. In here we've got some D, D shackle bushes uh, for the sway bar mounts. stickers you can never have too many almost feel like I buy products for all the stickers these days um, congratulations on your yada 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 okay awesome A little white line card um, that bag empty so I'm gonna be looking at now, I don't know how much of an upgrade these are Suspension's not really my forte, um, so I don't know if you guys would ask me in the comments, you know, what size are the bloody sway bars compared to standard. I probably couldn't tell you because I don't know. Um, that's an 18 mil, so rear sway bar is 18 mil, and this feels staggeringly different to what I know my rear sway bar feels like. Um, last time I did a wheel alignment, I just swung on it to, to, to check it was uh, tight and there was no movement in the links and I could actually bend it. So this is gonna make a huge difference to my rear end. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, it's a 18 millimeter heavy duty adjustable two point. So two point, two different holes, I would assume to hold more tension if you go shorter. Got sway bar link. Okay, so we got some sway bar link bushes. I don't know if they're for front or rear. So we've got some more. They look like the same bushes, so probably left and right. Uh, the mount bushes over here. More stickers, sweet. Figured it out now. Use that as, as a knife and just cuts through it. <laughs> All right, uh, we've got a fitment kit here. So that has, oh cool, so that in there is a new D shackle and sway bar bushes. You've got new links, obviously quite heavy duty, 
uh, compared to the ones that are bloody in my car at the moment. I think I've actually bent one. So that's, yeah, that's kind of annoying. Bushes uh, to suit the upside of those. Sweet. So everything, everything is supplied that you're going to need to to fit your new uh, sway bar kit. Jeez, oh. they pack these well. Bloody hell, this is really heavy. Oh. Wow. The finish on them is, is, is like ridiculously nice too. Let's see if I can get that through. Focus, you fuck. There you go. See the finishing on that? It's like a metallic uh, powder coated silver. With a heavy clear on it too, so that's really nice. I'll try and get the phone to body stand back up again. Alrighty. And uh, for anyone that wanted to know, this is sway bar, heavy duty adjustable, doesn't tell me what size it is. Alright, two seconds, I'll find a vernier. luck it's got some battery beautiful zero uh, I'm assuming it's measured from where it's mounted with the bush it's probably gonna change size a little bit lock it off and slide it out 30 millimeter so it's a 30 millimeter sway bar I don't know what standard is but that is going to be a huge upgrade. This one's a four point adjustable, so rear was two, front's a four. I am stoked. I don't think there's anything left in there. Pretty sure I went through everything. Yeah, that's it. I've made a huge mess. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Shout out to White Line uh, for sponsoring all this. And uh, yeah, have a good one, eh? Take it easy out there. Uh, at the moment, it's getting a bit wild. Um, uh, yeah. I did this in one take, so um, it's not really up to scratch. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Check out the guys at White Line for uh, any products you might need for your car. Um, they do some awesome stuff for a crazy amount of um, models. Um, more than likely they'll have something for you. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time.